Good day, friends. Today I am going to read a story from this book, Daily Reflections and Stories for Children, Book Two, on the theme of generosity. But first, let us say a prayer together. O thou kind Lord, O thou who art generous and merciful, we are the servants of thy threshold and are gathered beneath the sheltering shadow of thy divine unity. The sun of thy mercy is shining upon all and the clouds of thy bounty shower upon all. Thy gifts encompass all. Thy loving providence sustains all. Thy protection overshadows all, and the glances of thy favor are cast upon all. Thou art the giver, the merciful, the omnipotent. And now, let's read the story. It is called Cloaks for Everyone. Cloaks for Everyone. In the winter in Akka, the poor would suffer much more than in the summer because they did not have warm clothes to wear. During this cold season, the poor people of Akka would gather at one of the clothing shops and Abdul Baha would give each one a cloak to wear. Abdul Baha would put the cloak on many of the poor himself, especially the most disabled, adjusting the cloak with his own hands and stroking it approvingly, as if to say, there, now you will do well. At this time, there were five or six hundred poor people in Akka, and Abdul Baha would give them all a warm piece of clothing each year. On feast days, he would visit the poor at their homes. He would talk with them, ask about their health and comfort, and leave gifts for everyone. Now, let's read a writing on the theme of generosity. O oh, son of man, deny not my servant, should he ask anything from thee, for his face is my face. Be then abashed before me. Wasn't that a wonderful story? Generosity is so important and such a beautiful virtue. And Abdul Baha practiced it well. He was so generous, he would make sure Every person who needed a coat in winter would get one to make sure nobody suffered from the bitter cold. Generosity is a way of thanking God because God gives us everything. God gives us our talents and our abilities. God gives us the sun that shines and helps the plants grow. God gave us our parents and our community. So in reality, any wealth we have comes from God. So as a way of saying thank you when we have a lot, it is good to give it away. Give it to people who need it. So we can say, here is a gift from God, just like a gift I received. Being generous makes those happy to receive and those happy to give. So let us think about how we can be generous with our time, with our money, with our things, and most importantly, with our love. I hope you practice generosity this week and every week, and I'll see you next time.